Good day everyone, this is your European Open Briefing for Thursday, 4th August 2016. My name is Michael Frentiades, I'm the Chief Economist here at XM.com. These are the key points you should uh, keep in mind uh, this morning. We have the dollar rebound continuing, it's building up on yesterday's gains. Today's focus of course is on the Bank of England and the pound, what it will do. Tomorrow we will get uh, the US employment numbers and those are also going to be very key. So the, the two key events of the week coming uh, one after the other. Oil recovers, stocks also uh, climb uh, a little bit yesterday. Uh, gold is down uh, sharply in what is happening in other assets. And in terms of the calendar, we had OC retail sales. We had uh, bank, we have Bank of England, of course, US jobless claims later, and factory orders also from the US. Now, as you can see from the dollar index, the US dollar is continuing uh, yesterday's rebound from the 95.0 level. Uh, the dollar is making significant gains versus the euro, but it's well within recent ranges as euro dollar is now around 111.30. All eyes of course are on tomorrow's jobs report, although the market is focusing more on December as the possible date when a rate hike could take place. So, I mean, uh, if data comes out very strong ahead of December, like in the next couple of months, this could bring September into play. So it's not like traders or the Fed will not be watching the data for a few months. We have to keep an eye on the data because in the not very likely case that everything uh, goes extremely well in the next couple of months and September, again, as, as we said, could come into play. Now, uh, for sterling, we we had a bit of uh, choppy trading. Uh, you know, it had uh, it had a very strong uh, Tuesday, uh, more or less stable for the past uh, day and a half or so. Um, today, as we already said, we have the Bank of England meeting. There are two things to watch for today: what happens to interest rates and what happens to quantitative easing. For today, a quarter point rate cut from 0.5% to come down to 0.25% is expected. However, some economists are also expecting a new round of QE. In my opinion, that might smell a little of desperation if they go ahead with QE today. So this could be delayed. We will see, of course, because there are surprises. It's a major risk event. but. Uh, maybe they will want to keep their powder dry to see what is happening uh, unless of course they are thinking that uh, things are so bad they have to come out with uh, guns blazing we'll have to see uh, just a note here I think it's misguided it's a little bit misguided to focus too much on the Bank of England as the market is doing the problem for the UK right now is the uncertainty in terms of its future economic and trading model with the rest of the world and the European Union. And this is not something uh, low rates or even aggressive monetary policy can fix, but it looks like to central banker, bankers with a, with a hammer, everything, every problem looks like a nail and uh, they will go right ahead to try to fix it. On to oil. Oil rebounded. Oil, the US futures contract, rebounded above $40 a barrel yesterday after a big draw in gasoline inventories, an unexpectedly big draw in gasoline inventories. Although uh, crude oil inventories themselves were uh, bearish, it must be said. That caused a little bit of volatility around the time of the release. Now, in terms of U.S. stocks, uh, energy and financials helped them to rise a little bit, but generally it was more or less quiet for risk assets. And we had a big drop in gold and it tested uh, 13.50 on uh, the strong U.S. dollar and relatively resilient uh, risk appetite. On to the calendar, we had Australian retail sales for June. They were a little disappointing. Um, 
the growth rates came in less than expected. As we said, the Bank of England expected to cut rates and but not uh, raise uh, QE, uh, according to economists. In the US, initial jobless claims should remain low, around 265,000. Uh, and factory orders, uh, we have seen this uh, weak uh, trend in uh, factory orders and related durable goods orders expected to drop 1.8% month on month for June. And just a reminder for tomorrow, we are expecting 180,000 uh, new non-farm payrolls and the unemployment rate to dip to 4.8% from 4.9%. So that would be a new low if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, that's all from me today. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.